Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 41 of Direwolf20's Let's Play Create Above and Beyond series, where you might notice I'm flying around. Woohoo! Um, between episodes, I marked out the range of the beacon that's over there. It's 40 blocks distant, so this is negative 388, and if you look at this, you'll find that he's negative 348. So, uh, it's a 40 block range, uh, from, from, from the beacon... Uh, at level three. At level four, it's a... Where is it? 50 block range. But it needs, you know, significantly more stacks of, uh, you know, blocks. Yeah, we need, like, a lot more um, uh, iron blocks. So I feel like level four isn't worth it because i mean even level three is pretty expensive it's a it's a seven by seven so it's 49 blocks but level four is a nine by nine so it's like basically a another stack uh of of iron blocks if i'm no it's it's more than a stack it's 81 iron blocks for the bottom layer right seven by seven is less than a stack right and then and then nine by nine is more than a stack so long story short tier four beacon probably not worth it so i said we'll stick with tier three because that's what i have over there um, and then what I decided was to go about 40 blocks in this direction, and that landed me technically right under this belt is where I wanted things to be, but I decided to move it one little bit over so that we're safe. Um, and that is now another level three beacon under there, which should cover me pretty good. Now, the beacon that's over here covers me to about here. Um, so I can fly anywhere along this line. Uh, but as soon as I try to go to the left a little bit of this, I'm going to fall out of the sky. So that's the edge of that beacon's range in this direction, like towards the ocean, right? Um, however, the other beacon should pick up somewhere around there. Hey, shouldn't you be void upgrading? You should be. So why aren't you, actually? That's a really exceedingly good question. Um, mmm. Mmm. Oh, you know what? It's because of you guys. You guys are the spillers. You guys are the spillers. I should throw... I should throw... I only have one stack limiter module? Rip. Uh, I should throw stack limiter modules in there. I'm trying to prevent item spillage, and it's happening because of overflow. Uh, and to site machines, I should have a couple of them. Bada bing. Bada boom. So you go in there, stack limiter times two, and then I can come over here and tell these guys you can only keep a stack. And that should prevent items village, and that'll work. Anyway, so uh, the beacon should now cover pretty good. He should cover all the way over to here. He does. Maybe I'm off by one? That would be annoying. Am I off by one? I might be off by one. Yeah, 149 should go to 189, which should have me good to about here. Huh, I might be off by one. But the good news is that I probably won't have a problem too much. If I have to move this over one, I will. Um, but he doesn't check every tick, so, you know, we'll see. We'll see, if I have to move him over one, I will. Uh, that's annoying. I thought I thought I had mathed that out correctly, but maybe I missed it by one block. Meh. Long story short, uh, we've got another big bulky area in which we can fly, which is cool. Because around here, roughly in this area, is where I've decided I want to build my automated andesite stuff. And you can see I've got some of the things in my inventory that I'm going to need to automate andesite right now. So here's my plan. I'm going to set up... Um, a system that's pretty much identical to what I built over here. Now, in fairness, I could tap into this one, and I haven't quite decided what I want to do with this yet. Um, part of me wants to replicate what I've got over here, and part of me wants to use an ender chest to pull the sand and clay that we're going to need out of here. Because this clay is being produced, but it's really not being used, um, in this system at least. So I could maybe pull it and and decide like, hey, let's do the thing ish, but eh, we'll see. You guys don't have any pipes, right? So I could throw an ender chest here, and then we could skip the whole cobblestone into clay into sand thing. Uh, but we still want to wash the sand. 
Uh, because what we're going to want to make is clay. So we want to get the clay that's over there, maybe bring it over and use it. But then in addition, I want to bulk wash the sand into clay, which has a 25% chance. So what I'll probably do um, is, is route the... Yeah, maybe we'll do this with the ender chest and tap into the clay that's or the sand that's over here. And if we decide that we're not producing sand fast enough, I don't think that'll happen though, because we're really producing sand pretty quickly over here. So I think we should be able to borrow from it. And if we can't, we can't. So you know what? I'm gonna change gears here. I'm not gonna use my crushing wheels, uh, but what I am gonna do is get a new pair of ender chests. Um. And we'll call them, because they're going to be sand, how about we do dandelion yellow? Does that sound cool? And we'll just do yellow white white. I like that plan. And then we'll do, uh, let's get a, let's get a decent-ish retriever, right? Uh, so what I'm going to probably want is an invar guy for the retriever and an andesite guy... What are these things called? Pipe modules? Do I have another one? I thought I just made four and only used one. These are brass pipe modules. No, the other pipe modules. Utility pipe modules. Yeah, there he is. I've actually got a few of them. So we can stack upgrade, stack limiter upgrade him. And then how about we make you a medium retrieval upgrade? And if we were to fly over here, it should be as simple as um, putting an extra dude here. And then you're going to get a retriever module and a limiter module. And I'd like you to do a limit of that and boom and boom. And then you're going to retrieve a stack each of clay and sand. And he should pull 16 at a time, by the way. Or eight at a time. Eight at a time is the is the is the medium tier one. So that's kind of cool. So he'll drain all the um, clay out of here, and that'll be used over here for our setup. So here's what I want to set up. I want to route the clay directly into a drawer that's going to fill up and back stuff. And then I will route the sand into a washing machine that's going to go into the same drawer and will also back stuff, okay? So that eventually we back stuff on clay. Then we're gonna take that clay and we're gonna use a mixer to combine it with the kelp that I'm farming already. We're gonna take those algae blends and we're going to blast them with lava until they turn into algae bricks, deal. Then, Okay, we're going to take those algae bricks and once again mix them with andesite. And I'm thinking about doing something a little bit fun and probably over-engineered to get andesite up from bedrock. Could I just use pipes? Yes. Could I use ender chests? Yes. Could I come up with a more fun and interesting way? Also yes. So that's my plan. Sound cool? So let's start on the algae washing mechanic thing that we're going to do here. Um... So to make that happen, how are we for stress over here? Stressometer. Are you okay? Eh, you've seen better days. Oh, that's right. I killed the wither between episodes. Uh, so I had uh, I had removed my goggles for, yeah. So we're at, you know, 840 stress units remaining here. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. How are you doing? You've got, you know, a, a decent amount of stress units available as well. We could wind up, we'll see. We'll see how many stress units we wind up needing. Uh, but I'm going to see if I can tap into these water wheels here. If I can, that would be cool. All right, so let's try. First off, we want to get our kelp out of here, right? So what I'm going to do is add this dude. And let's rotate him to be about here. Oh, you didn't stick. Okay, my bad. That's right, I'm going to need my glue. I always forget when I need glue and when I don't. Uh, so let's get you in the offhand here. Cool. Um, now, where should we route this to? Maybe I should route it in that direction. I want it, I don't want it to be too cramped over here. That looks pretty good. Okay, cool. So then you're going to want... to effectively be here. Okay. 
so that that looks cool. And then we want to route you with probably, you know, at this point, we're going to want to really have, um, how should we do this? Should we do it with pipes or should we do it with belts? We could do it with belts. Belts might be neat. Belts might be neat. Belts can be cool. Could be a cool way to do it. Um, yeah, see, the problem is, is I've got a lot of water over here. Let's flesh out this area with dirt. I'm going to get myself... Um, I want to get another wand, one of these, because I think the one that I have in my bag here is pretty close to dead. And then I'll get some dirt. I'm just going to fill in this area with a nice old wand. Sound cool? So we want to be careful about this little farm that I've got over here. And this is basically going to be the area that I do this in. So let's, let's go about here-ish. That should be cool. And there he's broken. Told you it would break soon. Not too shabby, right? Um, now if I put some dirt here and here. Would that be a problem for you, Mr. Spinny Guy? I don't think so. I think that would be fine. Yeah. Nice. Now what if we did one more layer? Would that be a problem for you? No, not really. Sweet. <laughs> cool. Okay, so let's stop this thing for a minute because uh, we don't need him spinning just yet. And then we're going to want to extract from this guy. So I'm thinking this will be a drawer with a void upgrade in him. Does that sound cool? Uh, and I want to put it up a little bit so that we can wind up uh, extracting him. So let's be ready to lock you. Um... Is this about where I want him, or do I want him over one more? Uh, you know what? I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to do it like this with the drawer here. Void upgraded. Kelped. And locked. Cool? That should be a good start. So now, if we take this guy, and then we're also going to want extraction modules. Just give me all nine of them that I've got. Uh, I'm going to start letting this run again. And then if I give you the extraction module, you should just run. And he's just going to drain this guy completely. Uh, and then once he's fully drained, it'll start spinning again. And in theory, we have a lot of backlog to clear out here. So what I'm going to do is let's stop him for a sec. And I can probably just put away all my dirt that I don't need at the moment so that I can manually transfer all this kelp. Boy, isn't it great having flight? Should have done this a while ago. Now we let you run again. And he'll pick up a little kelp. He'll he'll do the thing. What I might wind up doing is just get rid of these two dirt blocks because they don't look great. Cool. Okay, that works for me, right? And now we're just kelp into the drawer. Good, that's step one. Now step two is going to be... Let's get our ender chest ready to feed the sand out of here. So we're probably going to want our brass funnels. Uh, and I'll show you why in a sec. But for now, we're going to need our this thing. And you're going to be this. And you're going to be that. And that should be cool. Uh, do I want this on this side or on that side? You know what? I'm going to put it on that side because it's closer to my existing um, water wheels. So let me put it over here, actually. We'll set this up on this side. Um, and basically, we can set it up like so. If 
I did this, is this spinning the right way for me? It is, cool. And then what I'd like to have is some trap doors. And I think I made iron ones last time, right? If I remember correctly, we put them like this. Or were they wood ones? Did I do wood trap doors? How do I have it over here? Is this guy wood trap door or what? Is he okay with the lava? Yeah, wood trap doors is fine with lava. Alright, we'll stick with wood then. So trap doors. We're going to have... And I don't want to have to slow this thing down, so here's the trick that I'm going to play. We're going to put our lava here. Do we have a couple buckets on me? I don't see any. I might have used them all. Now we just have a couple in here. That'll do. And I should have a little bit of lava right there. Cool. All right. Now you're going to be trap doors going upwards. And I should have a little bit more dirt on me in preparation for this. Okay. So the trap doors will go here. Actually, I don't want these to be trap doors. I want these to be fans, which I already made. OK, and we'll rotate these dudes like so. OK, that'll be cool. And then we just need to get you over to here. And then let's use in case chain drives. That should work, right? I guess you don't go vertical, do you? But couldn't I rotate you? No. Well, eh, yeah. Then we could do a gearbox, maybe. Yeah, maybe a vertical gearbox would be a good plan to go with here. So let's see, I've got gearboxes. Let's just turn one into a vertical real quick. Is that blowing in the correct direction? It is. Nice. Um, you know what I should do then? I should do a vertical like this. Yeah, that doesn't exactly work either. Um... Basically, I want these chain drives to be, you know, connected up. What I could do is... Uh, there's so many different ways to do this. Actually, I've got, I've got a new idea. I want you to be the clay. Like this. And then I'm going to have a... Base in here ready to mix them with a retriever module. Pulling the kelp and the clay. I think that's how I want to do this. So... Let's work backwards from this plan, right? So you're going to be my mechanical mixer like so. And that should be cool. So let's get the clay into here. So for that, uh, what we're going to want is this dude here, this dude here with the belts. And then we're going to want the fans here. Uh... like so and then we can have uh, our trap doors cool that works for me okay uh, now I'm probably gonna want some more brass funnels but we'll deal with that now you're gonna be uh, probably just a chest. That should work. That should work. And you're going to be a brass funnel set to extract 16 items at a time out of the chest. Okay. So what would be cool is if I could maybe get this working underground, maybe. That would be cool. Why don't we use a vertical gearbox?
a vertical gearbox. Like so. All right, so he's spinning the correct direction now. That's good. Now let's get this guy behaving. Does this look horribly ugly? He's blowing the wrong direction, so all we need then is a gearbox. And that's cool. And then we get a couple buckets of water. And we're good to go. I don't know if flowing water works. I assume it probably does, but meh, doesn't matter. Cool. Then all we really need from there would be the 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 clay dudes going in and doing what they should do. So let me get that hooked up. Um, so we realistically want to have a couple stack. Yeah, let me get the items I need. So what I'll do is something like this. Okay, and what I would like to do is have a drawer downgrade. Oh my, are we out of flint? I've definitely gotten used to how easy Refined storage makes crafting things. <laughs> I can tell you that I've very much gotten used to how nice that is. Uh, let me put this stuff away, by the way. Uh, do I have anything left in here? Where is my toolbox? There he is. Everything go away. Come with me for a sec. I need you over here, Ishmore. Uh, let's turn this into a drawer with a flint downgrade. And I can use... I don't have any gravel in there either. All right. Got a stack of flint now, courtesy of a crushing wheel and some cobble. All right. So you're going to instead be a drawer with our flint downgrade so that you keep a stack of sand in you at all times. And we want to make sure that you're also locked. So you are going to be locked... To clay. Do we have any clay that we can prepare this thing for? We'll just snag some from over here. You'll get, you know, a full 32 stacks of clay. Or do we just want to keep one stack? You know, I could flint downgrade this. There's no reason um, to, to keep a full stack of clay in here. That should be fine. I like that. All right. So what we'll do is we'll have the ender chest sitting here ready to medium extraction module him and what he should do is route a bunch of sand about a stack's worth over there oh he's gonna bounce back because we don't have any stack limiters we're still gonna need stack limiters super annoying that that's a thing boom and boom Okay, now you, sir. Ah, I see. I was hoping that this would get stuck in a better position. We might want to move this whole setup over one. If we move it over one, it shouldn't be a big deal. Or we could throw another fan down, right? And we could have... This. This. And that should be cool. That should be cool. The only annoyance will be that this is going to push in that direction, though. Which I don't love. I don't love. But it should wash now. Yeah, see, I don't like that this goes you know, and pushes over here. That's a little bit annoying to me. I wish the endosite belt funnel would block it. 
but it works. Let me see if I can make this a little better. What I could do is this, and then at least it's not quite as annoying. Uh, it doesn't look quite as good, but it works. All right, that should work. Cool. So if I were to real quick just remove these. That didn't go as fast as I would have wanted. So it's going to get stuck there, but it's still going to get washed. And then eventually it'll turn into clay, and then it'll be allowed into the drawer. Got it? So that should work. That works for me. Cool? All right, so now we're going to want a retriever module, and we want you guys to be the retriever targets, right? So if I just did this and put you and you in there, he should be able to pull from both and do that. Yes? So we got a kelp, so that's a good sign. Uh, I might want to make it a medium tier retriever, only because that wouldn't be that hard to do, and it may, might, might make life a little bit easier for me. So yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. Kelp and clay. And then it should be able to do 16 at a time, right? And hopefully you're not going to back stuff and bounce items. But if I need you to, I could just throw a stack limiter in there just to be safe. I really, 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 and I've said this many times, I really, 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 really wish that the tier 2 pipes modules had automatic stack limiting. But tis what it is. My good friends. All right, so now that you're cool, okay, we just need to get uh, some some gearing over to you. So what I could probably do to make this work is throw one of these guys on, and you, this is gonna become ultra compact in like a second, uh, but I think in my brain it works. That happens a lot with that, and I don't know if it's just an inventory desync or just like not showing things properly. It's always weird though. All right, so you don't actually connect, so that's fine. Uh, and then you just need like that. So now what I can do is that, and then the belt can go all the way to here. And then you're going to start mixing up. Dun, 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 dun. Algal blend. Nice. Now, I kind of wouldn't mind bringing this up one Y level, so I might do that real quick. It shouldn't be hard, right? I just do this, this, oh, yeah, I could do this. And then I put the pipes module, goodness, inventory, as usual. Uh, the medium extraction module here, that would be you. And then you should be cool. And I'm going to put you away and you away. And that works, right? Nice. Cool. Oh, and the uh, stack limiter, right? Set to 16 so that we don't have any bounce back happening. And that works for me because now what I want to do is have a lava line. And basically what I'm going to have, could I make it like super compact? That eh, might not be a good idea. But if we had a lava line, like lava here and here, kind of matching what I had there. Now the annoyance will be in the same way that that's annoying. Um, but it's, it's just going to have to be what it is, right? It's just, it is what it is kind of deal. Um, but then we could have our brass filter or funnel coming out of here. And you're going to have to be designated 16. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to set you up just yet. What I'm going to have is my belts first. Right? Uh, oh, look, you auto output. Okay, cool. Well, that's neat. That's right. I, I knew basins could auto output. 
I wasn't sure if there was something I had to do to make it auto-output. What I should do then is designate you, but I would really like you to be a brass filter. Could I do that instead? Because I want you to do 16 at a time. Um, and I should designate the algae blend as the filter so that you don't do what you just did. Cool. So that should be good. Where's the item spillage happening? Oh, I see. You. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. Cool. And then you also shouldn't be connected. That's why it's taking so long. I'm like, why is it being really slow about it? It's because of that. Got it? Good. All right. And then we want to make sure that you're 16 at a time, not star. Because that's how many we can smelt at a time, right? Okay. Okay. Now, this is going to be my lava setup, right? Because uh, I derped earlier and thought that I was doing lava first, but I'm doing lava second. But you're going to go here. You're going to go here. And this is where my funnel is technically going to go. Right? So we'll probably want to have this with a drawer which will be locked and I will tell you in a minute what you're allowed to have once I have an example of what you're allowed to have. Whoops, wrong direction. Cool? Okay. Um, so then you're going to get the andesite funnel, probably. Are we out of those? We might be out of those. Let me put all my junk away for a second. Go get more. I think I've got another andesite machine in here before we have to make more of these. Yep, exactly one more. Nice. Right? So you're going to go into here, and you're going to let only the things I want in there, which is going to be the smelted version of these guys. If I'm not mistaken, this should be cool. Okay, so you here, you here, and now I just need these belts to run. So what we could do and then Right? And then, are we out of belts? No. It's one way to do it. Uh, and then, it's super compact though, right? A little bit. And then gearbox. And hopefully everybody's spinning the correct direction. So he's blowing into the belt, but the belt's going the opposite direction. So we just need a gearbox on the belt, and then we should be cool. Yes? So, uh, wrenchy, wrench, wrench, where are you at? Actually, where is my wrench? There he is. Cool. And then once we get our first one of these, everything go away for a sec. I can tell them that that's what you're allowed in there. Cool. And then he'll start filling up with algae brick. Now, do we want to stack limiter that too? Maybe? Like a flint downgrade on him?
Ah, because of course we are. So that the line back stuffs? Okay. So then he'll only extract 16 at a time, and then he will uh, back stuff this guy a little bit. Cool. And that'll be good. Yeah, now technically I could have done this with probably one fan and been fine. Um, but, meh. Yeah, one fan, because of how slow this is, one fan probably would have sufficed. Probably could have shrunk this a little bit and made it a little bit less dire wiry. A lot less dire wiry. All right, so there we go. A little bit more compact, right? I think that works. I think that works a lot, actually. Yeah, and then, you know, if we snagged, you know, a stack of these bricks... It's just going to, you know, fill that up. It'll smelt them on demand. Definitely a little bit more compact. Definitely a little less dire wiry. But everything should be good here, right? I think so. I think so. See, we're at 32 algae brick. Now we're at 48 algae brick. Then we'll be at 64, and then it'll back stuff again. And you're just going to sit there and make algae blend. Works for me. I think this is nice and compact. All right, so let's do this. Let's wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next episode and do my convoluted plan for andesite, probably. <laughs> um, so now all we got to do is combine the algae blend uh, with the andesite in a mixer, and we've got our andesite alloy. And that's it. So easy peasy right there. All right, for now, wrapping up point. Darwell20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I really do because I had some fun today. And I think you guys probably did too. Um... We'll come back next time and do that stuff, right? And then it should be pretty easy. All right, everyone. Take it easy.